Good morning, everyone. I'm Anshul Mehta, and I work in the platform team at Atlan. I am Suman Das. I also work in platform team at Atlan. And today, we are going to talk about how we were able to do 300 hours of repetitive work in just three hours by leveraging Argo workflows and Argo CD. Before moving forward, let me first talk about why Atlan exists and what is Atlan. We started building Atlan with just one mission in mind, to help humans of data do more together. Humans of data are diverse, analysts, engineers, business, product, and scientists. Each has their own tooling preferences, skill sets, DNA. And when these diverse, diverse set of people come together, they create magic. They will do amazing things from curing cancer to self-driving cars. Now, let's talk about what is Atlan. Atlan is the single source of truth that data teams, or as we call them, humans of data, can use to discover, trust, and understand the data that they care about. And to effectively close the loop on all of these, what we need is data governance. So what exactly is data governance? Data governance is the practice of setting clear rules and responsibilities for handling and using data within an organization. It ensures that data is managed in an effective way and adds value and used for analytics and information purposes only. There are a few, these are some, these are few pillars of data governance. Let's talk about each one of these. Business glossary. Defining, certifying, and aligning core terms related to business, metrics, and business documentation. Lineage impact analysis. Understanding the source of data. Where did the data come from? How it, uh, how it has evolved over time? And uh, how it changes over time? Profiling, standard characteristics about your data, minimum value, maximum value, and standard deviation, etc. Access management, making sure that the right person has access to the right data at the right time. Security, providing more context on how data is used, who is using it, and for what. Active metadata, ability to leverage metadata to trigger Certain automated actions, like triggering a Slack alert when some data action happens, updating documentation when a certain, using, leveraging all the existing metadata. Cool. Just a quick recap. We have talked about why Atlan exists, what is Atlan, and what is data governance. Now let's come to the problem. What's the problem? As Atlan continued to develop, we, the core microservice that powered data governance began to accumulate some critical and significant technical debt. And this, in turn, result resulted in three major challenges. Number one, reliability. We started facing a lot of customer support tickets, and this number was increasing every single week. Maintainability, just making sure that the governance microservice kept running and all its dependent services kept running was becoming very hard. And innovation. Our current architecture didn't allow us to innovate, innovate as much as we wanted to and to as much as the business needed. So yeah, we were in a big trouble and our nights as a result started looking something like this and our days something like this. We decided to, the only way to move forward is to deprecate the current microservice and design a new one to get rid of all the technical debt. And that, trust me, that was a huge decision for us. But in just three, in, in just four weeks, we built a new service that could replace the existing one and solve all our challenges. And this was a big moment for us. But wait, how do we roll it out? Rolling this service out wasn't as easy as we thought it would be. And it had four major challenges. Number one, schema evolution. We had to, just to make sure that all the schema changes, we made some schema changes with the new service. And to make sure it works fine, we had to do a data migration. Number two, we even deprecated certain APIs, and which meant all the other services that leverage this particular governance service would need code changes. And even though schema evolution and API deprecation would make the rollout very hard for us and add some short-term complexities, but it was very important for us to innovate and to build for the future. Number three, Atlas multi-instance model. We run in a model where each one of our customers get their own vCluster instance. And this is important because, uh, because no organizations today do not want their data to be stored in shared resources. And 
other than this, there are also some security and compliance concerns for this. And the fourth major reason was zero downtime. We didn't want our customers to have even a single second of downtime while all, while all this rollout happened. So we came up with a rollout strategy that could work on a single instance. Number one, data migration. We would migrate the data. Number two, data validation. We would validate that the migration was successful. Number three, releasing all these changes in other services at the same time that leveraged the governance service. And the most important one of all, post-release testing. Once all these changes are rolled out, how do you ensure that nothing breaks? The users have the same smooth experience as they did earlier. But now that we have a way to roll it out on one single instance, how do we do it on hundreds of instances? The clear way was, we the easiest, the simplest way was, was to painfully repeat these steps again and again for every single instance. And based on our calculations, doing it for one customer instance would have taken us around three hours, and doing it for hundreds of instances, at least 300 more hours. So we were in a trouble. But how did we actually do it? We did it with the help of Argo. Passing over to Suman to talk about the details. Thank you. Yep. So as we discussed that we have to release this first Sorry. Sorry. Yes, sir, sorry for this. Yep. We have to do data migration, then validation, then release, and then testing. We have to ensure all this. What we have re realized that we could just simply write Python script and execute it via Argo workflow to achieve these steps. Is a data migration, and after the migration, we want to validate that if the mig data was migrated successfully, and after that, the post release testing. We could just simply write a Python script and run by Argo workflow. Now, let's talk about the release. Releasing changes in all dependent service. So, governance service was one of the central services where there was a lot of dependent services on the governance service. So, we have to release the changes in all dependent services. What do you what do you want? So right now, the state is that we have one new governance service we have built that is up and running. But all the dependent services are still using the old governance service. So our release target would be enabling them to use the new governance service. So whenever all the services will use new governance service, we would be thinking that, OK, the release is done. So this is the state what we want to achieve from this to this. Now, I would want to uh, show how we did it. Before that, let's uh, take a look into our platform architecture that we use in Atlum. So there is one control plane uh, from where there is B cluster and Argo CD and Argo workflow there. And each customer has their own virtual Kubernetes cluster. So that is, each customer have their separate instances. And there is Argo CD, which is controlling the release. If we change, if we merge any changes, it will sync the latest release to all the instances. So this is about how the platform architecture looks in Atlan. Now, from the previous slide, we have uh, seen that Argo CD actually controls release. So what we want that from inside of the workflow we are running the instances, we want to communicate with Argo CD that is sitting in the control plane that we could ask Argo CD to release the change into specific instance. How do we, how can we do it? So we have Argo CD CLI. We just installed uh, Argo CD CLI in the Argo workflow. And from this, we, we can release the changes from the Argo CD CLI. So but the question, the problem we wanted to solve was how to communicate effectively from Argo workflow that is in the instance to the control, to the Argo CD that is sitting in the control plane and ask them to release as so when we want in each instance. So for that, we have to solve. So we uh, did four things. Those are creating Argo CD user and policy. Why this was important? So uh, for Argo CD to work, we have to first authenticate Argo CD CLI with each user. But we can't let uh, any one user to update other instances. So for, for each instance, we have to create one service user and RBAC policy 
for each. So we have created those uh, in the control plane for the Argo CD and then we have created one Argo CD parameter that will update the config map of each services. So uh, what this config map is doing for each service? Here config, we just configured the services this way that if we uh, instruct in the config map to use the new service, it will start using uh, that service. So in, the, in each Kubernetes cluster that customer have, if we just update the config map, it will uh, of the dependent services, it will start using the new governance service. So whenever we will update the config map, it will take a, the pod will take a restart and after that it will start using the new governance service. So, and we will be uh, we will be controlling this param or controlling this config map from the Argo City parameter itself. So our target would be just update the Argo City parameter via CLA, Argo City CLI and it would be rolled out. It will be rolling out the changes. So we have uh, we did data migration, then data validation and the release and testing all of the step independently in just one Argo workflow. We package them all and we can run it in all of the customer instance as we want. So here what we can see that we can just repeat this step uh, in each customer independently and it will run without, without any dependency. Now the target is how to run it in all instances. We have hundreds of instances so how to run it. So we have two way. First we have to install all the templates, install the templates in all the instances and then we have to trigger the workflow when we want. Now let's uh, take a look how we actually install the Argo workflow in all instances. There is a tool uh, Argo PM, we use uh, a tool built and open sourced by Atalan. Uh, in the last KubeCon, uh, we actually presented about this. So what is Argo PM? Argo PM is actually package manager for Argo workflows. So, it enables the developer to distribute and consume Argo workflow templates. If you have, uh, there is a lots of, if you have lo lots of workflow templates to manage, and there is a lot of dependency graph forming, so you can easily use uh, Argo PM and use them as a package. So this, uh, using this Argo PM, we published the workflow into packages.atlan.com. So that is in the central repository. From there, we uh, published all the packages into all the instances. Now let's uh, triggering the Argo workflow. So uh, in the if you can see there is a, in the control plane we have Argo CD and also the Argo workflow. So here this Argo workflow in the control plane manage all the platform uh, related tasks. From there we can uh, we can submit the Argo workflow from there. So uh, we just pass the list of instances and then uh, and and it triggers the Argo workflow in each instances. So this is how we did it. Now let's take a small recap how uh, the whole flow looks like. First, let's we triggered the platform workflow. This platform workflow has the list of instances and after this it actually triggers a workflow on all specified instance that we given the list of. Then it runs data migration, then validation and then release and testing beautifully with Argo CD and Argo workflow. So Argo workflow in tandem with Argo CD really helped us releasing changes so much easily and in manageable way. And what's the impact of this? What after when we did it, we hundred we released successfully with hundred percent, and then we also reduced the customer support by ninety six percent after all these changes. And in the last six months, we have added uh, three major changes related to data governance. Yep. Any questions? Thank you. Uh, please post your feedback uh, in there. Yeah.